Hey there, it's Andy Summers, live in Las Vegas for the ACMs, thanks to Ford and the Ford F-150. And Chase Rice is here with me right now. What about the F-250? Well, that is bigger. That is bigger. <laughs> <laughs> um, so talk to me about the farm. Uh, yeah, well, there's two of them. I, the farm in Tennessee, where I live. Yeah. I just literally recorded my whole record in my house. And the, the, Fred Eltringham, the drummer, on the record, he sent one picture of what we did in the house. Mm -hmm. Turned my whole house into a studio. That's amazing. I sent it to a buddy, and his buddy's response was, uh, he's definitely single. <laughs> <laughs> If I had a wife, she'd kill me for it. <laughs> uh, and then the farm up in Cleveland as well. That's welcome to the farm. Um, it, we basically turned my farm in Tennessee into a bar in Cleveland. And my dad's from Ohio, so it, it couldn't have fit any better. That's and awesome. Guys that, Bobby and Schwartz are the two guys that kind of piece this thing together up there. And they couldn't have done a better job. I walked in there, just my mind was blown. I, I saw it in construction. Sure. They didn't want me to see it until it was done. Yeah. And I walked in last week and. We did. We opened it on Wednesday. That's awesome. It was awesome. I got up there and played five or six songs. It was the first time I've heard rock and roll, which is my song now. It's the mm -hmm. first time I've heard that acoustic in a bar setting. We've been doing these arena shows with Kane. Oh, right. And, uh, and obviously, that's a very different vibe than a bar. Absolutely. Yeah. People started singing back over here. This is that old feeling again. That is fantastic. It was a fun night. Well, congratulations. I mean, that sounds really exciting. Um, so, so what are you like? You opened the so is it your place and then they're kind of running it or how does it work? In my mind, the whole time I'm like, yeah, it's really cool to be a part of this thing. Yeah. And then they, I get there and there's all this media and, and they're presenting it as my bar. Oh. And I was like, no, nah, that doesn't feel right. Like this was a, it was an awesome team that literally came together and made this thing happen. Mm -hmm. And it's not like, you know, Dirk Bentley's Whiskey Row or, or Luke Bryan's whatever. Sure. Bar, Jason Aldean's bar in Nashville. No, it's called Welcome to the Farm on purpose. Like, I didn't want my name to be a part of this thing. And I'm not talking trash about those guys. Like, I'm just saying sure. oh, yeah, yeah. my name to be part of the bar. It's just the farm. Or yeah. WTF or Welcome to the Farm. And was, WTF doesn't normally mean Welcome to the Farm. So. It does not. <laughs> now it does. Now so, it does. Yeah, it was just awesome. I wanted to bring... It's really cool to see because everybody has done that in Nashville. And yeah. And turned these live music venues into what Nashville is. Sure. And we took that to Ohio. Which is, it's I mean, music every day it's open. So. Oh, that is so cool. So, I mean, that must have been a huge thrill uh, for them to have you out there then performing and yeah, stuff was, too. I got up there and played like five or six songs. Yeah. And, um, that's that's what it's going to be. That's it's super a fun. Live music venue in Cleveland, Ohio. And there's not enough of that. And a lot of people yeah. come out to me and they're like, man, we, we really needed this. Yeah, it's for sure. Especially Ohio after the pandemic too, yeah. right? Like, yeah, I mean, everybody needs yeah. some time to go out to a bar and have some fun. Um, but Ohio's full of country people. Some of the best fans in country music are, are in Ohio, and I've yeah. seen that from the get-go. They've always been there for me. And so to, to hear them say that, like, man, it makes sense. Why would you not have a country bar in Cleveland? That's cool. That's cool. Okay, so talk to us about the single, If I Were yeah, Rock and Roll. I Rock and Roll. Um, I wrote it by myself at my farm. And it's... It's the product of having time off for two years and not knowing what to do with myself. Yeah. I took about a year off to do nothing, you know. You look up and it's like three or four months in, you're like, I didn't realize this was happening still. Right, right, because no one expected it to last as long as it did, right? So. You get back to this thing and then here you are half a year in, it's like, oh, you're still off. And that was, it ended up being obviously a year and a half, two years of time that I spent with family, time mm -hmm. that I spent with friends, time that I spent at my farm um, making it a home. And I didn't realize that I needed that so bad. Yeah. And it happened, and the, the product of that is if I rock and roll and the record that we're making, we just created at my farm. So uh, to me, it's it's my favorite song that I've ever put out. Um, it, I wrote it by myself on a couch, um, and I produced it with Jay Joyce, who's one of my favorite producers. Yeah, um, he's great. Of Miranda, Eric Church. Sure. Cage the elephant. Um, so yeah, it was it was uh, it's the start of a whole new journey for me. You know, cruise happened ten years ago, right? Over ten years ago, and then you know, if I, uh, sorry, uh, drink a beer, talk about a man happened ten years later, mm -hmm. it's with the same guys you write the song with, and some of your best buddies in the world, and it ended up being my second number one. Put an exclamation awesome. point on it. That's a point in my career sure. that will never happen again, and I, I love that, and I'm. I'm grateful for that. I'm grateful for the last 10 years, but if our rock and roll is the start of a whole new 
How exciting. Well, good for you. Good for you, and congratulations on everything. Um, I do have to say that picture of you and Dirks in Nashville was <laughs> so creepy, because I'm looking at your Instagram, and I was like, wait, what? There's well, two? Who? Who's got, who? I got drunk two nights before that, like an idiot, and did a Fu Manchu, thinking it was a good idea. It wasn't. It was kind of sick. But I looked at myself the next day, and I'm like, ooh, I looked rough. And so I didn't even have a beard either. So. Yeah. But it was a, it was a picture that that needed to happen. Yeah. Because like, everybody comes up to me at the airports. Wow. Really? So that's so funny because I never, I never even made that connection until I saw the picture of the two of you and I was like, whoa, you do look like brothers. In our industry too. He, uh, I toured with him in 2014. He was the first major tour I ever went on. And here we are, you know, all these years later. Damn, eight years. That's crazy. Wow. And his little boy was, I think, just born. Right, probably, and yeah. There with the team, his little boy's going crazy. There's one picture of, of uh, once every, we all got into the stadium mm -hmm. with the team, and the Preds are some of my best buddies. Yeah. Ryan Johansson is one of my best buds in the world. But we walk in, and the whole team's taking a picture, and then it's Dirks' little boy. Oh, right front. that's awesome. They don't have a picture of just the team. No, it's just the team and Dirks', Dirks and Dirks' And little knocks so, in there. That's so funny. There. So, that's um, awesome. Yeah, it was, a, it was a good day. It was a special day. I, it was a really cool day for Nashville in general. Yeah. I was, I was proud of part of good stuff. Awesome. Well, Chase Rice, again, congratulations on everything. Uh, thanks for spending some time with us today. Yeah. And um, we'll see you guys. In we, person, yeah, right? Um, and we are in Nashville or in uh, Las Vegas. Where are we? We're in Vegas. <laughs> I'm not sure where we are. Who's uh, drinking? We're probably in Nashville. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> for the ACMs, don't miss it. Monday night, uh, streaming live on um, Prime Video.